In this video, I'm going to be completing the summer 2012 computer component of the midterm exam. My first instruction says create a new document in Fireworks with a canvas size of 400 pixels by 400 pixels and a background of 123 EAB. Do not change the default resolution and that as I follow through the instructions I want to try to use vector tools whenever possible. I have gone ahead and opened up Fireworks and Dreamweaver. want to create a new Fireworks document and when my dialog box appears I want to specify that I wanted that 400 by 400 pixel width and height. Fireworks will always open with the changes or with whatever had been used last. I did have a particular hex color code for my canvas so I want to go ahead and add that in now. If I had made a mistake I could change these things under the modify menu. I could change both my canvas size and my canvas color here under under modify canvas. I could also when the canvas itself is selected use the property inspector to change both the canvas size and the hex color code for my canvas. The second instruction says to draw a triangle shaped object in the lower right hand corner with both a width and height of 200 pixels the triangle should have a 7 pixel line of 9BED00 with a transparent fill. The triangle should fit completely onto the canvas and the rotation of the object doesn't matter. The easiest way for me to get a triangle onto my canvas is to use the polygon tool. And with the polygon tool I wanted to pick a three-sided figure. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my triangle. The simplest way to go about achieving the 200 by 200 pixel dimension is just to use the property inspector to type that in directly rather than continuing to redraw this. I'm dragging the triangle down to the lower right hand corner as I was instructed to do. I'm also going to go ahead and give this a transparent fill. Now it says that I wanted a 7 pixel line. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And it looks like my hex color code actually already happens to be correct. So I'm going to leave that as it, as it is. The third instruction tells me to add my name to the canvas centered along a diagonal vector path. The text should have a color of, oh, that's my the color code I've just used, 9BED00, and a font size between 30 and 60 points, depending on the length of my name. I want to use a serif font for this. First thing I'm going to do is draw my diagonal vector path. This could have gone from the bottom left to top right, or top left to, to bottom right. It wouldn't matter. Either way would be a diagonal path. In order to end the pen tool, I double click. That's how I get out of, um, of that. I prefer to draw my path first because then I don't forget to draw it afterwards, but either way would have been fine. So I've gone ahead and drawn my name and I've noticed on here uh, that it says that my text should use a serif font. Times New Roman is actually a serif font. A serif font has these serifs, like I see on the S and the L, this end of the A here. But if I hadn't been using a serif font, I would have wanted to make sure that I had made that adjustment. I want to go ahead and attach the text to the path. So I'm going to select both of them holding down the shift key and I'm going to go to the text 
attach to path, command, At this point, I could decide whether or not I wanted to change the size of my name. It's fitting on here fine, but it does say that I could have, right now I'm using 60 point font, and the instructions say that I could have gone down to 30 point font if necessary to get my name to fit on. If I'd had a longer name, I would have wanted to change that. My next instruction says, use the objects you feel are necessary to draw an oval with a width of 300 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. The oval should have a fill of CE0071 and a 10 pixel line of FFAB00. Create a 100 by 100 pixel rectangular shaped hole of, <laughs> it repeats itself, 100 by 100 pixels within the oval you've just drawn. Both the hole and the rectangle should have the same horizontal and vertical center, and my new shape should be placed in the bottom right-hand corner on a layer underneath my previously created triangle. I'm going to create a new layer first using the Layers panel. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it underneath. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and drag it underneath first. I could have moved things around afterwards, but this was just a quicker way to accomplish this. And remember, if any of your layer if any of your panels at all are not visible that you need, you can obtain these by going to the window menu. First thing that I want to do is draw my oval. I'm going to use the ellipse tool. It's going to get me an oval. And I'm just going to draw my shape because the easiest way to make these changes as just to, to do it in the property inspector. So I might as well just place it on there so I can go ahead and start to adjust my dimensions by typing the, the numbers in. So the fill of my oval was supposed to have a particular hex color code. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that in. And my oval was also supposed to have a 10 pixel stroke with a particular hex color code. want this in the bottom right hand corner of my canvas, so I'm going to go ahead and use my selection tool, put that in the bottom right hand corner. Now I'm going to draw my rectangle. Now this rectangle was 100 by 100. Now, the stroke and path are two separate components. So the stroke is actually adding to my object. As I reduce this down, see that my object actually decreases in size. The instructions said I wanted to create a 100 by 100 pixel hole. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that um, I'm just going to uh, eliminate it entirely, uh, or I could have picked the stroke um, inside the shape if I wanted to, to do that, uh, because I specifically said I wanted my hole to be 100 by 100 pixels, not you know 100 plus this 10 pixel stroke. So both my shape, and you might want to, I mean, it doesn't matter what I color the shape because it's going to disappear anyway. I might want to change the color just so it's visible to me. Both my shape and both my hole and, um, and the uh, ellipse or oval need to share the same horizontal and vertical center. So I'm going to select both of these. Oops. Maybe I'll just do it on the layers panel. It might just be quicker. Select both of those and I'm going to use the align panel. Pick relative to object and I'm going to align these two so that they're both, they both have that same 
horizontal and vertical center. And then I'm going to go to Modify, Combine Paths, and select Punch. The Punch tool then allows me to see through um, the hole. Of course, this is below everything. I could drag it up above just so you could see very quickly what the, the punch tool is actually, you know, instead of just creating this uh, illusion of a hole there, there is actually a, a hole in the shape. I've created a composite shape using that, that tool. Okay, I went ahead and put that back in the proper location. Let's go ahead and look at the next instruction. We've I'm on instruction five. So here I've asked to draw a 100 by 100 pixel Pac-Man shaped, shaped object in the top left corner with a fill of FFAB00. Oh, that should say stroke. Right here there's a, a typo in this. It should say with a stroke of FFAB00 and a fill Oops. I'm just adding this visually here for people that are, are following along. Okay, so with the stroke of that and the fill, the other one, um, and then I want to hide the layer. So if I want to hide this layer, I obviously know that it needs to be created on its own new layer, so I'm going to do that first, just add a new layer. And to draw my Pac-Man shaped object, I am going to pick the Pi tool. There's a number of ways to do this, but the Pi tool is actually the, the fastest way to go about this because I can use my adjustment handles on the Pi tool to create my you know, Pac-Man shaped object. There we go, that's probably close enough. I'll put this in the top left. Notice I didn't specify how thick the stroke could be. So I don't need to, to worry about changing that. I'm just going to use what it was before. It looks like my stroke has the right, the, the correct color code. So I'm just going to escape out of that. And my fill, oh, it already has the right color code. So I don't need to, to worry about any changes there. Great. And then I want to hide the layer that's containing this object. So you notice it's on its own layer, the pie shape, my Pac-Man. I'm just going to click the I symbol here to hide that layer. OK, my next instruction says to save the file in the default file format for fireworks with last name underscore default. The last name portion should be replaced by my actual